hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm glad you guys came back and right now I'm just gonna do a frequently asked questions I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you follow along and uh, let's just get started so I downloaded office 365 and I'm using word 365 and I'm putting in blank document And the first thing I'm doing is formatting my paper and I'm just showing it you from this word edition because everybody always asks what kind of edition I have and it might be different than the one I originally used in the DIY video so I went to file page setup and we're gonna customize um, the size of the page and there you just put in whatever size your planner is it's either gonna be a five or a personal size and you can find that out like in inches and all that so the paper that you're actually going to do work on is actually going to be the size of the actual um, planner insert and then you can rename it okay. and here I am also setting margins and I'm just making sure everything is 0.25 which is a small margin it's just so that you have room for everything and then you see that your customized A5 planner is there and that you set that as okay and now the paper size is A5 which is whatever you put in or whatever you customize it to. This can be personal size or A5, whatever you did in the beginning. So here I am and I'm going to, I believe it, I'm going to start putting in tables. I'm going to change the margins first and the top I'm going to put 2.5 the bottom also 2.5 and then the left and right those are the tricky ones so if you're gonna have a, a hole punch on the inside then you would want the right side to be, oh, the left side to be more, sorry, it's the opposite. And then you click mirror margins. And this just helps because this is important for when you hole punch. So it'll mirror the page and then you'll have more space on the inside of the page to hole punch, if you understand what I'm saying with that. <laughs> so I'm pretty much the first essential part is to set up your page and that can be somewhere where when printing there can be some troubleshooting if you didn't set this first part up right. So here I'm just showing you that you can also do the um, table with Word without having the publisher view. And here I'm just creating a table and I'm just make, like doing this a quick example they don't have the grid lines with the sizes, but they do have how the length on the right side of the little box, if you can see. Um, but I mean, it's very similar to the publisher view. You may not need it at all. Um, I clicked on layout and to view the grid lines. And I also, you can click on view and you can click on and off the ruler and put more grid lines. But those are like really intense grid lines, but that's if you want to be super super um, accurate which does definitely help and then you can also click on the focus button which makes it kind of like the publisher view which just makes you focus on one thing so like I said those grid lines are there and those are also good because wow look at that like they're gonna be super precise in their sizing so then I went to table design and here you can delete um, lines and you go to, oh no, I went to layout and I clicked on the eraser and then I just clicked on the lines. Um, it should click off, um, just make sure you're like right on top of the line. Yeah, so I'm doing that there. I, somebody had commented saying that they weren't able to erase the lines, but it's all under layout and it's table. And you can also redraw the line, which is draw table um, so that's kind of an example of how you can do it without the publisher view and just regular word view 
So now I'm going to show another troubleshooting which I think is printing and the size. So I'm clicking File, Save As and I am saving it as a PDF. So I opened it up in Adobe and here is the little sample that I did. So then I'm going to press print. I am going to click on actual size, then click on multiple, then put custom and put two. And um, both should appear except that on my second page I didn't have anything so that's why it doesn't look like there's anything there. Um, but that should be enough. Um, and this is a 5 by 5.6 by 8.2. Um, this is actually too big for to have two of them in one page. So I actually cut the pages to size and then do one one by one. And then I am going to show you a personal size one, which is smaller. I don't know the dimensions, but this is one of my older ones. And same thing, I'm just zooming out showing you that it's a personal size, so it's a little bit smaller. And then in this one, you should see both of them in one page. It says multiple, and then you customize to two, and then you see both. And they both fit on a page, and they can print with the border. They both do fit on page because they are small enough, but the A5, I don't believe they fit in one page. It's not big, it's not um, small enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A, not Q&A, I hope you guys enjoyed this FAQ of DIY planners on Word. If you have any more comments or questions, please leave comments below. Uh, subscribe, thanks for watching, and um, just let me know any videos you guys want me to make or to do something new or if you have more questions. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.